Hey, community group leaders and teachers, I hope you're doing well and having a fabulous day. Hey, I'm excited to introduce this week's Leadership Minute. This is one more tool that we can have in our tool belt to lead more effectively. Over the last couple of weeks, we have been looking as community group leaders and directors at different ways that we can grow in our own leadership capacity by, by learning how we can dive deeper in intimacy with God. Two weeks ago, we, we talked about the, the basic principle, you can't lead where you haven't been, and how important it is for us to spend time daily seeking God, whether it's through reading our Bible, through praying, through, through worshiping Him, through doing something to engage with God. Our leadership capacity is, is truly limited in a spiritual sense as we personally seek God. Uh, another way of saying that is, is we can't lead people to closer to intimacy with God if we ourselves aren't willing to go there. Last week, we talked about actually opening up the door a little bit and a lot of inviting people in to see how we do things. One of the ways that we can grow is by teaching what we do to other people. It forces us naturally to, to spend more time seeking God, to invite him into our lives as we invite other people to see what, what we do and how we do it and what works and what doesn't work. It'll also help them grow in their walk with God. This week, I want to focus a little bit on, um, on celebrating victories. You know, so many times as a leader, I just move on from one event to the next event to the next event. I don't like to think about, to stop and reflect on what God has done in, in previous events. And, and I bet you're guilty of that too, just like me. A uh, prime example of that, uh, we had just this past weekend, uh, a community group expo. Because of that expo, because of the highlight on community groups, uh, most of our groups probably didn't feel any, any fuller than they normally do. We had almost 750 adults in community groups on Sunday morning. That is a shocking statistic. The last time we had that number was well before COVID. So we are, we're doing really good to have that number. That's worth celebrating. Another thing that's worth celebrating, Grant Collins did a new Christians class for students in elementary school who have, are wrestling with Jesus or recently said yes to Jesus on Sunday, the September 12th. Because of that class, there are now seven young men and women who are ready to follow God's command to be baptized in obedience with him. Guys, that is worth celebrating as well. We have seven children that are ready to say yes to Jesus by demonstrating that, that yes, by being baptized. That's huge. So I want to encourage you, stop, reflect on victories that God puts into your life to celebrate those victories. Invite other people into those victories as well, because as you spend time celebrating those victories, that will encourage you, that will nurture your soul, that will challenge you and encourage you to want to dive deeper with God, to grow closer to Him. Take time to celebrate those victories. Let other people know about them too, because it will encourage them to spend more time with God as well. I hope this, this Leadership Minute is encouraging to you, and not only for what you're seeing in the life of our church and seeing just a couple little glimpses of what's going on behind the scenes, but that you'll slow down and take time to sort of celebrate what God is doing in your life. Hey, I hope you have a great day. If you have any questions about any of these tips, please feel free to reach out to me, shoot me a text, an email, but I look forward to seeing you back here again soon for another Leadership Minute. Hey, blessings, friends.